bad crash over in turn two. Michael Waltrip has hit the wall hard. The car is upside down. And you can see the car is really torn up. Well, Jerry, I said it's sort of on its side or, boy, he, yes, it is upside down. Michael Waldrop in his car having hard contact out of turn two. We'll check in to see what's going on. The safety crews over at turn two after this hard contact with the guardrail. Stay tuned. We'll be back after this. Two, Michael Waltrip's car begins to slip and slide on the outside and contacts the concrete wall nearly head on. The car is sawed in half by that concrete barrier there. One of the most spectacular and violent crashes I have ever seen, Ned Jarrett. Jerry, I've been involved in auto racing for more than 30 years and I don't remember ever seeing a car torn up this much. The safety crews had run over to the car. Likewise, older brother Darrell Waltrip was there. Let's check with Benny Parsons. He just all bowed up. My, I looked at him. He looked up at me and winked. So, Mom, Dad, he's a Waltrip. He, he's got a pretty hard head. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, a testimony to the way these automobiles yes. are built. Certainly, uh, Ned, of course, uh, this Banjo Matthews car put together uh, for Ronnie Silver a few years ago. The roll cage was intact, and there is Michael Waltrip now, standing up, climbing out from around that shredded, mangled mass of sheet metal that was a Pontiac Grand Prix just a few moments ago. Michael now walking over to try to get into the safety car. And take a look at this, Ned. There's nothing left of the automobile, and yet the man has walked away from it. Of however, it has been taken to the infield hospital, but look, they're just picking the car up by pieces. Well, Benny Parsons standing outside the infield care center where they have been checking Michael Walter over. Let's go down to Benny Parsons and see just exactly how Michael's feeling. All right, the next car is a car that was wrecked at Bristol. Michael Walter hit the gate on the outside wall and basically shivered the car in half. It's crazy that he managed to walk away from this.